Good evening. Today is Tuesday. In the fifth week of Easter, our evening prayer begins on page 499. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, by his death, your only begotten Son overcame death, and through the power of his resurrection, he opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that we who celebrate with joy this Paschal season may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit. We ask this through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Rejoice, the Lord is King, your Lord and King adore. Rejoice, give thanks and sing, and triumph evermore. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice. Rejoice again, I say, rejoice. Jesus the Savior reigns, the God of truth and love. When he has purged our stains, he took his seat above. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice. Rejoice again, I say, rejoice. His kingdom cannot fail, he rules o'er earth and heaven. The keys of death and hell are to our Jesus given. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice. Rejoice again, I say, rejoice. Rejoice in glorious hope, our Lord and Judge shall come and take his servants up to their eternal home. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice. Rejoice again, I say, rejoice. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 76. God is honored in Judah. His name is great in Israel. Jerusalem is where he lives. Mount Zion is his home. There he has broken the fiery arrows of the enemy, the shield and sword and weapons of war. You are glorious and more majestic than the everlasting mountains. Our boldest enemies have been plundered. They lie before us in the deep of death. No warrior can lift a hand against us. At the blast of your breath, O God of Jacob, their horses and chariots lay still. No wonder you are greatly feared. Who can stand before you when your anger explodes? From heaven you sentence your enemies. The earth trembled and stood silent before you. You stand up to judge those who do evil, O God, and to rescue the oppressed of the earth. Human defiance only enhances your glory, and you use it as a weapon. Make vows to the Lord your God and keep them. Let everyone bring tribute to the awesome one, for he breaks the pride of princes, and the kings of the earth fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the first letter of St. Peter. You are coming to Christ, who is the living cornerstone of God's temple. He was rejected by people, but he was chosen by God for great honor. And you are living stones that God is building into his spiritual temple. What's more, you are his holy priests. Through the meditation of Jesus Christ, you offer spiritual sacrifices that please God. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life that he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the evening we call to you, O Lord, be merciful, and hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, our life and resurrection, glory and praise to you forever. Lord Jesus, Savior of the world, glory and praise to you forever. Lord Jesus, King of the new creation, 
Glory and praise to you forever. Lord Jesus, High Priest of the New and Eternal Covenant, glory and praise to you forever. Lord Jesus, Victor over death and hell, glory and praise to you forever. Almighty and everlasting God, in these days of struggle, we intercede on behalf of the people of the world. As we find ourselves in the midst of a global outbreak, we beseech you to send forth a fresh outpouring of the Spirit upon all who are struggling, fearful, or anxious. In a particular way, alleviate the pain and suffering of those who are ill. Strengthen those who diligently labor in health care and preserve peace in all other respects. That united together we may overcome this virus and find a pathway forward to prevention and good health for all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, through the glorious resurrection of your Son, you have destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light. Grant that we, who have been raised with him through the water and the Spirit, may abide in, the presence, in your presence and rejoice in the hope of eternal glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Into your hand, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord, my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servant in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation that you have displayed in the sight of all the people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, with our loved ones both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. May the souls of the faithfully departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen.